So what is karuaru? Karuaru is dried fish and what all you need to make dried fish is um, kanade fish, uh, salt and sun and uh, there's a lot of benefits of salting of fish. It removes moisture and kills bacteria and you can store dried fish for a long, longer period. So to find a good karwari, you have to go to Lambasa market. So let's go and look for some good dried fish. Uh, and Lambasa market is known for the good dried fish. So um, you can, um, there are very few uh, market vendors uh, that sell karwaru uh, in Lambasa. And um, you can usually get, um, um, you can get around, um, you can get a kg of karwaru for around 25 to $30. Um, so you can select uh, the best karwaru. And uh, people of Northern Division, they, they love karwaru um, curry. People have their own recipes. Um, they have different um, recipes. So according to the this market vendor, the best karwaru comes from Undu Point. And he also shared that the concept of karwaru came from South India. How true is it? I don't know. But my grandmother also said that it, it um, came uh, from, um, the concept came from uh, South India. And um, they do salting of fish uh, to keep preserve the fish for a longer period. Uh, you can uh, keep it for long, more than two, three months. Uh, um, month so if you are in Lambasa and you want uh, to try Karwaru please go and um, check out Lambasa market um, and buy some dried fish so um, the first step I'm sharing you uh, the recipe from uh, my grandmother's recipe so what you can do is the uh, first step is you uh, heat the dried fish for at least two minutes get rid of any insects so anything that is there be careful or not to ban it um, because this fish has been sitting um, in, the, uh, in the, the shelf for more than two three months so it's good you hit it um, and then what you do is to scale the fish um, like any fish you scale the fish before you cook it so it's important you scale the fish yeah, it's got a kind of strong smell uh, the karuaru the dried fish got a strong smell so if you don't like fish smell then this is not for you um this is not for you um so um yeah, so scale the fish properly because you don't want the scales in in your curry. Um, so clean it properly, and um, I love the the smell of karuaru, uh, and and it tastes nice. So uh, you see how we'll make the curry. Um, and people have different recipes. Um, they have. Um, and add different ingredients into a different way of making but in this my grandmother's recipe you will make curry and um, you can try this at your home um, So next is you cut into curry pieces because we are making uh, curry uh, so we'll cut into pieces 
and then um, um, we'll soak these um, pieces in the hot water um, it's to um, clean and, and soften it and, um, once you put in the hot water at least for two or two, three minutes and then you take this uh, uh, cut pieces and fry it in the oil, with oil for at least two minutes and then you start preparing your ingredients Once your once your onion is brown, then you add ginger, garlic, and your chili powder. curry leaves and um, uh, one spoon of um, turmeric powder you can, you can smell all the aroma of all the ingredients and um, curry masala too you can add curry masala too to the onions and the other spices that are inside. Then you add this one. Five minutes on a low heat. 